Right, so there we go, guys. There's the, uh, the all the cementing done already. I will give you a, a little shot of the other side. I'll turn it around in a minute and I'll I'll give you a little see what the other side show you what the other side looks like. Um, for now, we're going to get to painting it. So the way Su Chin E does it is she uses watercolors. So that's what I'm going to use. I'm going to use some watercolors. I haven't used them since I was back at school, so should be a fun little experiment again, getting to know the, how it works and stuff. But um, we're gonna start with the black and we're gonna get in all those little holes and dark little places and we're gonna really turn them a nice sort of black color and then we'll come out and we'll start putting some shading on all the rest of it and really trying to turn it into a nice piece of rock, you know? Um, yeah, so that's that's the next stage of this, and then after that, in a couple of days' time, once once I've done the painting and I've got myself organised, we're going to do the base of the pot and get it all rock solid. Uh, then I'm going to work on the frame that's going to hold the tree in suspension while the roots grow, and uh, and they can take the weight of the tree. So there's a lot more to this to this sculpture yet. So we're going to carry on and. I'll show you how I'm going to paint it. So right guys, as ever with watercolours, no need really to explain it. You add water to a bit of colour and you go from there. So I'm going to only be using black at the moment. So we can really... getting those little areas that we want to really stand out a bit. Maybe I should use a, a smaller smaller brush for this, a bit, a bit more pointy. And then kind of get in all the nooks and crannies, make it a little bit darker. You can even do stuff like that, you know, just let the water run. Right, so there we go guys that's all done we've got all the painting done all the sculptural work is all done now we've got going to come to the base and the base is very important obviously we've got to really connect that structure now to the base of the of the pot so i've made a frame and i've left one half off and i've made four of these and they've gone in each corner and what I'm going to do next is I'm going to put a big lot of cement on this this part here um, so that the bottom is, is, is covered. This is where the, the head's going to sit. So the bottom of the pot there, I know is going to have be connected with the cement. Then I'm going to put the pot on 
and then we're going to start laying the cement inside um, and I'll show you that process now so let's get to it so right guys I'm all set up I'm ready to put the sculpture on so I'm just going to put the sculpture on now Now all that's left to do is to screw these up. So now I'm just going to spend a couple of minutes getting the frame sorted out. So it's as straight as it can be. And there's enough of a gap so that it can I can get the cement down the sides. And so that it will adhere to the to the pot. I'm also going to put a lead weight on this corner just to hold the frame in place. So I know it's all sat down nicely. So now it's time to lay it. Let's have a go, eh? So there we go guys, it's all done, it's all finished. Now, as you can see, the bottom of the tray is not completely finished. It's just a bit of trimming up there now, but I actually might need to use this part to wire the frame to and connect the frame to the, to the whole piece in case I need to prop up the tree a little bit just to hold, hold it up so it, uh, it can get a couple of years growth and then be really solid on the, on the piece. But I've actually been really studying this and been having a conversation with Dan from DR Bonsai. And he can see the tree as maybe a double trunk tree, um, but the horn, but the tree sitting near the, the base of the horn here and coming out, or maybe on top. So I've incorporated some bars around around this area so that I can get some wire, attach wire attachments so that if we do want to put a tree there, we can. Um, also been looking at it um, after the Heathrow Bonsai show and seeing all the stuff there, I've been, you know, re-evaluating everything that I do in the, in the terms of trying to bring it down a little bit in size, um, but actually, I've been looking at this and if I could get maybe 
I don't know, seven or eight or five or six um, Japanese larch trees, saplings, um, we could actually put some small ones around the whole piece and then some sphagnum moss here, there and everywhere. And it, it might give off a different uh, image than the one I was initially after. Initially, I, what I want is what I wanted is a is a tree there, and you know it all coming up and and almost be like swaying, like the the rhinos just picked it up. But there's a lot we can do with this, and we can add more to this, and you know we can add channels and stuff so that it can keep the soil in, and so the roots come down and spray in the pot. So there is a lot of options on this pot that I haven't seen before, but now I can really see. So it's gonna be really exciting to, to put the plants on this eventually, or put the trees on this eventually. So please follow along, and as ever, like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next time, next one. I'll give you a good look at this now before I go. Cheers guys, ta-da.